Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show and happy Tuesday to you if you've just joined us. Now our resident Dr. Darren Green is back in studio mm -hmm. and he's here to guide us on making the right choices when it comes to cooking and meal times in order for us to help to live a happier and healthier life. Now today we're getting to know, uh, getting to the bottom of uh, what cooking oil has the Cancer Association South Africa's stamp of approval and why that is so. And here to discuss it of course, Dr. Green. Good to see you. Senora. Good day, good day. Excellent. So, I, I've noticed that is it only canola oil that has that specific that heart? Seal. Like, yes, which is it, it, it's got it's got the it's red with the heart and the that's the, the knife and the fork. That's the one. That's the exactly. approved by the heart. Uh, it's right foundation. And why is that? That's because it's it contains well canola oil differentiating from other cooking oils. It's got particularly a very low concentration of what we call saturated fats okay and saturated fats have a, an associated risk of many health problems mm -hmm. uh, including increasing your bad cholesterol uh, and then obviously the, the the different lipoproteins that we need are affected by it quite adversely also the difference between canola and sunflower oil that's quite crucial besides the saturated fat content is the omega 6 to 3 ratio and in sunflower oil, that ratio is off the charts, it's 30 to 1. Okay. Whereas in canola oil, that ratio is 2 to 1. So what we call the ideal omega-6 to 3 ratio is 2 to 1, uh, which carries that seal, obviously, is only present in canola oil. Yeah. And it's got a very high content of omega-3 in it. Which are the good fats that you want which to have in your diet. Fats. You also mentioned sunflower oil. A lot of families out there use sunflower oil. I remember. Of course, uh, yes. We didn't even call it sunflower oil growing up, just fish oil. Can I please yeah. <laughs> bring the fish oil in, then you'd make your exit? Does that mean cooking with something else, like sunflower oil, is not good for your health? Yes, if, I mean, you, you can consider taking healthy ingredients, and then obviously if you're cooking them in an oil that's not, not the optimal or the best oil for you, you can change the entire value content of that meal. Wow. So you can turn something uh, healthy into something unhealthy by how you prepare it. So certainly there, there are definitely differences in, in the preparation that you're using to prepare your food. Yes. That uh, omega-6 to 3 ratio and then the saturated fat content. Yeah. So talking about those high omega-3 oils in uh, canola oil. Yes. How does taking more of them into your body better your health? Yeah, so omega-3 is shown to decrease triglyceride levels. And triglycerides are bad circulating fats in your bloodstream. When they draw your blood, if your triglycs are really high, you often see a fat layer, like when, uh, when oils actually cool down or, or that burevos fat that yes, you fried. Yes. The next morning when you look in the pan, if you didn't wash it straight away, that thick layer of fat at the top, that's what happens in the blood as well. So you must think about triglycerides being lowered by omega-3, mm -hmm. and specifically higher doses of omega-3. And then you have uh, two very important subdivisions of fat called LDL, which is your loser lipoprotein, the bad one, mm -hmm. and HDL, which is the good one. And what, uh, what omega-3 has actually been shown to do is to improve your HDL, which is the good lipoprotein. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. Uh, I have some great tips from Dr. Darren Green and some insight into why canola oil is the only oil that has the Cancer Smart logo of approval. There you go. Now, a bit later on, we'll also be chatting to Dr. Darren Green about codeine addiction in no. our medical chat on this Tuesday. Am, am, I, am I addicted? Right. Am I okay? Am I addicted? Uh, we'll see. Well, we'll am, see. I, am I okay? You okay? I've got okay. an itch here in the, in the back of my... Am I okay? Don't scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Right now, let's catch up with the news.